All right, Adrian, welcome to the channel, brother. It's an pl nice absolute here. pleasure to have you on here. And uh, I'm super excited for our conversation today. Um, just a quick little background, and then I'll pass it off to you as well. Um, Adrian's a fitness coach, and he was you're stuck at what 20k a month for about five years in the organic grind. And about then 20k, uh, yep, for five wow. years. That's crazy. And then uh, just before we started recording, you mentioned that like <laughs> what it's been about three, maybe three, three and a half months now working together. Um, and now you pretty much turn your monthly income into a weekly income which is insane. Oh. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, man, um, absolute pleasure to have you on here. I'll pass it off to you right now. Do you mind just kind of giving a quick little rundown of like kind of what the offer is? Um, and then yeah, kind of like where you're at before or where you're at now, just a quick little recap. Yep. So first I want to say, uh, when I first, uh, work with Jeremy, we we're talking about this and I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to make it on that YouTube and here we are. So it's, it's super nice to be here, Dre. Um, but yeah, like I've been doing fitness coaching for about five years. Uh, before then, I was doing a little bit of in-person. That was for like a couple of years. But anyways, uh, online coaching for about five years. Um, my offer is helping women specifically with weight loss. And it's been great. But um, I've been in the trenches before meeting Jeremy for some time doing organic. And that's why I'm here. Like I, I really want to share a lot about like my experience, like being on the organic side because I spent a lot of years doing that and also like just the last three months, like how crazy it's been with ads. Um, but yeah, organic has been definitely a grind. Um, should I add, should I, I, you should probably let me, uh, I should probably answer your questions before I dive in because I, I just got a lot to say, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Like, just, I, yeah, yeah I, I, okay, I, I just want to hear from you. Yeah. yeah just, just, you take it away, brother. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I've been doing organic for about five years and, um, let's just say that organic works, but it's definitely first, like the initial part, like getting it off the ground is definitely a challenge. Right. And talking about scaling specifically. So I'll, I reached a point where I was doing as much as I possibly could do. Um, I like just a lot of messages, cold DMS, right. Like Jeremy would say, like going in Facebook groups, like just always like what the spear, right. Like J Jeremy would say, like always hunting, hunting, hunt, hunting. And um, I would say over like the last five years, I got my business to a point where at year three and a half, I was like at the pinnacle, right? And I couldn't really scale more. Like I have that record month, but if I had that record month, I would go back down and it kept oscillating with like the income. Um, and it, it's just not like a business that anybody really wants to have long-term because like, and I was talking with Jay about this earlier, like right now I'm young. But what if I have family? Like we all want to have eventually family and, you know, there's more obligations. I was like, how can I be in the DMs and just doing all this? Like when I'm a dad and all this, it's just not a business that I want to have long-term. So I was like, I need to find a way to scale. Right. And I see like other fitness coaches that are doing really well. And like, uh, like, and this is another thing I didn't tell you about Jay. Like there's some coaches I know that just like, boom, like exploded. I'm like, what are they doing? And now I realize, okay, it's been ads right? That's a, it's an obvious one. So yeah, guys, it's, it's been great. Um, the last three, three months, I don't even think it's been three months, Jeremy. I think it's been barely two months. It's been barely two months. And <laughs> wow. I'm like, and like Jeremy was saying, like my monthly income is just about my weekly, almost not quite almost we're getting there. Um, and it's insane guys, like leads really do come to you. It's, it is like a dream come true. Like, um, ever since I turn on ads within a month, like that many more followers, like a thousand more followers and guys, if you guys can just imagine, it's not about like how many followers you have. It's like how many quality followers you have. And I'm talking about like a thousand, just about all of them quality followers. And it's been fucking phenomenal. Like, you know, you'll get inbound messages, right. And even when you do outbound, it's completely different. And like, I want to talk about this because when I did organic, mm -hmm. when you do outbound, most people are going to slam that door in your face because there's no report. Right. And they don't know you. And they're not even the right niche. They're not even like the right person that fits like the square in the square. Right. You're just, you're just doing like um, you're blasting everywhere. And that takes a lot of time and energy. But with like, ever since I met Jeremy and we did ads, like that shit is so narrowed in. It's fucking crazy. Like if I message five people, at least three of them want to tell me about their problems. You know, mm -hmm. if they want to tell you about their problems, like, you know, I, I have the solution. It's, it's inevitable that you're going to sign up people. So honestly, like before meeting Jeremy, it's like, it sounded too good to be true, but 
we're at a point I'm living it. I'm in here and we're just getting started. I know it's still like only a couple months, but it's, it's so good, man. And it's such a good feeling because I know, like, give me a year, give me two years and it's just going to keep scaling. I can help that many more people. That's incredible, man. And, uh, yeah, I like what you just said there too. Um, because I know it's funny, like you and I, and we were talking about this before we started uh, recording too. Like we first talked, I think you, you saw one of my ads, maybe like about a year ago, like 11 yeah. months ago mm-hmm. and we're chatting and you're like, Oh, like, I don't know what, like, we'll, we'll kind of see how this goes. And then yep. like, it was kind of like the summer or the, just a couple months ago, I was like kind of in the same spot. And then yep. like just the, you kind of just saw what was going on um, with the clients and stuff like that. And like, I know I, I kind of gave you a bit of a nudge. That's and, what I needed. And uh, yeah, I, I don't like, it's funny. I don't love doing that all the time. Um, but when I, I know with like absolute conviction, cause like you had such a strong foundation of organic. I'm like, bro, we could crank things up. And uh, yeah, I like what you said too, about like the quality. Yes. And how we got that just so narrowed and dialed. Like mm-hmm. anybody can set up an ad and run it. That's the easy part. But not everybody can set up an ad where it's really hyper specific mm-hmm. on somebody who actually has your problems and has a lot of money to to invest exactly. to solve that. And exactly. uh, I think, yeah, we've absolutely crushed that um, with yours as well. And now, yeah, from here, it's, it's literally going to be a matter of like, okay, how much money do you want to make next month? What's your ROAS? All right, here's how much you need to spend. <laughs> yeah. And and to add on to that, like for you guys listening, like one of my limiting beliefs when I, before running ads and, and, and working with Jeremy is, oh, this is going to be so complex, you know, like with ads, you know, like the first thing, Jay, I thought about with ads is, oh, do I need a click funnel or do I need some kind of like funneling system? And that's going to mm-hmm. be like more work, more time, more resources. But let me tell you guys, like Jeremy's ad system is so fucking simple. It's like, it's so simple and it's so effective. So the complexity part also is another thing. Like it's, it's so, it's so simple. It doesn't have to be complex and you always want to make sure it's simple and not complex whenever we're doing things. Yeah. Simple scales, fancy fails. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you say is kind of like, like, was there a certain thing that, I mean, and maybe it was literally just like launching ads. <laughs> um, was there like one specific thing or maybe a couple of them that were like the biggest variables in your like, expansive growth so far because like uh what, what's kind of been like yeah kind of that like the the main catalyst so far would mm. you say mm. i think it's um i remember when we were crafting our offer jeremy it was you show me alex's and alex worked with guy um men specifically over like a certain income or like a certain like industry and that yeah is definitely the thing that moved the needle for me because I used to work with women and, you know, it could be everybody. And we had a lot of people on TikTok that were like single moms, stuff like that. You can imagine the, how that probably turned out for a lot of conversations. But when we narrowed down like career driven women, right. This is like the sauce I'm spilling all, all these other fitness coaches are going to hear this and they're going to achieve a good change as well. But like when you can narrow down like their industry and like their profession, that changes everything. And once you throw ads there, it's just, it's game over. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's like, that's literally like the secret to attracting qualified ladies that have money. For sure. Like, put that in the ad. <laughs> yep. the ad. Yeah. And that's the difference between like a lot, like I see in the fitness space a lot, a lot of guys are forced to like under charge because the quality of their prospects determines like the amount they can charge. Cause if mm-hmm. they're only talking to broke people, then like they're forced to charge 200 bucks a month or like yep. something like that. Right. And, and then they see like guys like you and like a lot of my other fitness coaching clients that are like getting thousands of dollars up front. Yep. Like eight in full, no problem every single week. Like yep. it, it's, it's pretty cool to see that, that major transition. For um, sure. But uh, before we started uh, recording as well, you mentioned something that was really interesting um, mm-hmm. It was sort of towards like your hesitancy around ads. I know that you just mentioned like the simplicity and the complexity of it, but also just like the belief that was wired in your brain from the organic marketing coaches. Do you mind just kind of touch on that a little bit? Cause like, yeah, you, you, were, you were doing that for a long time. And I know like, like I said, like we were, we're chatting for like the span of like 10 months or something like that um, before you end up pulling the trigger. Like, what was kind of something that like, was there like a big domino that had to fall down 
for you to actually just kind of like let go of that and just like kind of take the leap or like, what was that process like for you? Yeah. So for sure, I just had to, it was like the fuck it moment. It's like you, you have these like instilled beliefs and a lot of times we hold so strongly onto it. And I held very strongly onto that ads is something that I'm not ready for maybe in the future, or it's going to be complex. And more so there's a lot of chance of failure rather than like success. And this is what we're talking about. And it's with a lot of like coaches that, because I have experience when it comes to like mentors, I have quite a bit of like mentors and um, a lot, like pretty much all of them would tell me that you got to maximize organic, right? Going to Facebook groups, sending more DMs, or like I went to the route level, like, you know, having VAs even like having VAs do it for you. And while yes, it does help you with that. You're still playing the same sandbox. You're still doing, you're playing the same sandbox because like, it's more so like the framework is, is cap, it's, you're going to be capped on the framework. There's only so many messages before you get blocked. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you're dealing with the same type of people. So yeah, regarding that, um, what switch for, what switched for me was like when we had that conversation, um, in summertime and, and Jeremy gave me that little bit of nudge, but um, that's another thing. Like a lot of these coaches um, really push organic. Um, and it's not true that you could scale with organic. That's bullshit. Like there's no scaling in that. You do need to start with organic if you're a complete newbie, but it reaches a certain point where if you really do want to scale and build an online business, you do need paid ads. And that's the unfortunate thing. A lot of these coaches I work with, um, instead of actually being neutral stance on it, they would they would actually tell me not to do ads. And here's the thing we all know because they want to get you into their highest tier program or, you know, they just want to withhold information. Some coaches are like that, like Jay, like some coaches are just not integral. They're going to be like, here's my, here's how much is going to cost. It's going to cost this much, but I'm only going to give you this much. What is it like? You know, they would sell you like a unicorn and give you like a pony. Right. So that's the truth guys. Like Jay is one of the best, obviously, like I work with him for two months and like, this, I mean, the results speak for itself. And I spent, I don't know how much money I spent on other coaches, how many years, I don't even care about the money. It's more the, the years, you know, time is more important. Like I spent all those years and like, yes, I grew, but it's not the same amount as growing with Jeremy in two months. Like the growth that I had in maybe three years is maybe like half of what I had with Jeremy in like two months. So, I mean, the choice is your guys, like, you know, there's so many coaches we can hire and stuff, right. But you've got to really make sure you hire the right person. And I mean, I'm talking with the right person right now. Man, thank you so much. Like sure. seriously. And uh, yeah, I just want to say like, that means the world to me. For I'm sure. also like, insanely proud of you too. Cause like, Thanks, man. you're very, like, you're amazing to work with too. <laughs> <laughs> like for my side, it's like, yeah. you literally just like take action, just do it. And then like figure it out. You got a question, you ask me, give yep. you an answer. Boom, right back to it. Right. So it's very like, like you, you take a lot of ownership and accountability and responsibility for where you're at too. Yep. And that reflects in the success that you're creating for yourself too. So that's, yep. uh, that's incredible, man. But uh, Thank you. yeah, I'm curious, like now that you see what's possible, what's next? Mm. Well, definitely. Um, what's on my mind right now is first um, just going as far as I can with this, like, it's, it's funny, you know, I'll, I'll say something really interesting, um, Jeremy, you know, before I work with you, I was, and this is what my last like coach was telling me is like track everything. And that's great. You know, tracking KPIs and stuff. And you might, uh, get mad at me for saying this, right. But I actually <laughs> stopped tracking my KPIs as, as much because I know money's coming in. Like, I don't do it as meticulously. Like, like what's my week, weekly income. I used to be so meticulous with it. And I still do. It's not as meticulous as before. And I do this guys because I just know what certainty that money's coming in. I don't really have to get a spear and hunt all the time. So it's funny, like right now, I like my next goal is building like a million dollar business, right? Building a million dollar business within a year. But like Jeremy would always say, like, don't have an exact time on that. I used to be so big on that, man. Like, I need to get there. Like uh, we tied down the last meeting, like before this one is mm -hmm. like, and I think it was like um, Lee was mentioning, like, and I, I felt like I resonated with that. Like I used to always be like, I need a timestamp on this, or I need to track everything meticulously and I'll get really in some anxiety when I'm not on there. 
But now it's just like, okay, the million dollar business, I'll get there. And that's my next goal right now, the most immediate goal. But I don't really have a time horizon for it. I just know what's going to happen. I have that certainty right now. So whether it's like in six months or the next year or two years, it doesn't really matter because as long as I'm growing, that's the most important. <clears throat> that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that detachment is so key. Exactly. Yeah. yeah and just focusing, doubling down the process as you would always say. Yeah, exactly. What, what kind of, uh, what advice would you give to somebody who's maybe where you were at like two months ago, um, doing organic for a long time? And like not really seeing the process or not really seeing like the growth and the, maybe they've like plateaued and been stuck. Like if you could give them like some actionable steps right now today to actually improve, get out of that grind, what would you recommend them do? So first is offer. Offer is super important. Um, make sure you dial in your offer. Make sure you're really clear because like there's a lot of coaches Jay, that have been in the game for a long time, but they maybe may not be 100% clear on their um, on who they want to help exactly. I think number one is being a specialist rather than a generalist. And that's what Jeremy taught me, right? Like, I know it's intuitive to try to help everybody. And Jeremy talked about this as well, where he had an offer before and he tried to take on everybody, but he's doing so well right now because he's actually uh, like, what well, some scale, it's specific for coaches that do like 10 to 30. K a month and like are struggling with these exact problems. So um, everything like that Jeremy does with his business is also relevant to our business. So like for a coach that's been doing organic for a long time, like number one, look at the offer, look at who you're helping, get really crystal clear, right? Like if you can't tell me like your offer or your niche in like less than 30 seconds, then you definitely got to revisit that. So that's number one. Once you have that, um, obviously like the, the basic things, really make sure, you know, your sales process is, is dialed in. I think that's an R1 too, Jay. Um, I would say that like uh, my sales game is pretty good, um, mm -hmm. but there could be some coaches that still may be really good with content, but like maybe their sales game is not that great. So definitely make sure you're good in all areas because if your sales are not that good, obviously it won't be as good as you want. So try to like refine all your processes. If you can have your offer, you can refine your processes and you don't have to be guys, you don't have to be like, a killer in sales. As long as you can make some sales, you're not like atrocious at sales, right? Just get yourself to a, a decent level. Like, okay. If you have these two and you run ads, hmm. you're going to scale. I would say these are like the three things I would re uh, recommend. The offer, just refine your processes. If you don't know how to make content, well, you probably should be good or okay at making content. That's another thing too. Oh, I was talking with Jeremy. I was hmm. like, Jeremy, my content game is not even that good. <clears throat> That's another limiting belief. Guys, you don't have to make like super, super good content to run ads. That was one of the biggest beliefs I had. And that was why I was kind of hesitant the first time I talked with Jeremy. You don't need to have the best camera, guys. You don't need to be like an amazing speaker on camera. Like you don't need these things to run ads. Like as long as you have an offer, you know, you can help somebody. You have a little bit of proof. You can start running ads and start making money. And like, that's one thing where it just changed my paradigm when it comes to like ads. So that refine process and just run ads. Those three. I love it, man. I love yeah. it. Um, I know you got to run in like one minute. You got another okay, call, so I can stay on a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. I can stay on a little bit. If you have like a few more questions, I'm enjoying the conversation. Um, me too. Me too. Uh, um, and I think we'll have to do another one a few months from now too. Cause it's like, yeah, I know, I know where you're headed. I will be back. <laughs> we'll be back. It'll be a different title for the next one. Oh, damn straight. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Again, just want to say like super proud of your success, your growth so far. It's crazy how short of like time it's been. I know. Um, what, uh, I'm curious, do you happen to know your ROAS right now? Like for every $1 you put in, how much you getting out? And then roughly- Right maybe? now, okay, so before the trip, so I, I just collected mm -hmm. 12K last week. So that bumped it up. But before, before the trip, I was probably sitting around five to six ROAS. I think right now I'm confident to say I'm probably 7.7 7 to 8, I would say, Ross. Not too Not shabby. Bad. Not too shabby. <laughs> yeah. I know. And it's funny too. It's like with this system, it's like, yes, it's so simple, but it's disgustingly profitable too. Like all the ads courses I've ever taken, they teach like complicated funnels. Yeah. And you like, like people would kill for like a 3X, like kill. I know. Um, <clears throat> which is nuts. Um, and, like 
with what you said earlier too, about like, now you've got like a thousand really qualified, like people coming in every single month. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? That's only going to keep compounding because the people that came into your ecosystem this month, most of them probably aren't going to convert right away. Exactly. But like I can bet, <laughs> I would bet that a lot of them will next month, three months exactly. from now, six months from now. Right. And then that's just only growing and growing and growing. They're just going to get to know you, like you and trust you a lot more over time too. So it's, sure. uh, yes, it's, it's disgustingly profitable, like on the front end too, but then on the back end, like I don't, I truly don't even think you've seen the, the true compound effect yet kick in. Right, exactly. You're hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Like it takes time to nurture people. It takes a little bit of time, some time to nurture people. And I mean, if I'm already seeing this kind of growth so early on, I think this is just the, like the cream of the crop of like the people, like 70% of prospects are going to be people that will take like 90 days. So yeah. I'm excited. That's amazing, man. Well, Adrian, mm-hmm. brother, um, I'll let you go now because I, I don't want to make you too late for that meeting. But I, mm-hmm. I really, really appreciate you hopping on with me. And it's been yeah. an absolute blast working it with you so far. Sure. And Likewise. again, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited for our next next interview. It's going to be yeah. uh, a much different title. And I know it's it's going to be a yeah, lot of fun. But for sure. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I do have yeah. finishing words for, for everyone. Do it scared and just fucking run it. Just do it scared and run the ads. Trust me. And you'll be thanking me afterwards. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I second that. Yeah, I second I'm that. scared and just run it. Amazing. Well, Adrian, again, thank you, brother. And, uh, yeah, thank we'll you, see you in the next one. See you soon, bro. Yep.